Hello all and welcome back. This is tutorial number two. Um, in the first tutorial we made some basic mission setup for like one objective. Go to this target and then mission cleared. Uh, of course you can repeat these steps for to make a, a sightseeing tour, sightseeing mission or something. Um, but the environment is quite empty. So in this tutorial I want to add some AI and uh, make, some, make some weather changes. So uh, I will start with the weather. Okay, let's go to the weather settings. There is a button in the toolbar. Weather settings button. And then you get this window, the weather sim settings. Um, you have three different tops here. Now fog is clear. You can just add some fog in the scene. And I always like to have a very low fog value that adds realism in the scene. Um, cloud presets. Here you can add initial clouds. When the mission is loaded, these these um, settings will be loaded too. So I, I can make some clouds in this scene by uh, select Alto Cumulus or Alto Stratus. You have for every layer you have two types of clouds. And I'll add a layer to see what happens. You see all the clouds are represented by green dots in this uh, window. And here we have a cloud layer. And when I save the mission, these clouds are saved too. So the next time I load the mission, it will have these settings. But these are the initial cloud settings. When you go to the weather sim top, you have some cloud generation settings. And uh, during the mission, when you test it, it will say low cloud coverage 0%, middle cloud coverage 0%, and high clouds 0%. So these clouds will disappear and it will be nice weather. When you want to have like um, a cloud generation for let's say cumulolimbus, it's the low clouds coverage 200%. As you see nothing is happening. Here we can take a look at the if it's generating clouds and it isn't. That's because I'm not testing the mission when I say test mission it's generating the clouds and they will fly in the scene during the mission. I can't see them yet but I'll speed up the engine. You don't have this window but uh, it's just for demonstration right now. Engine speed. Where are you? Ah, <laughs> they're a little bit dark, but it's just for demonstration right now. The speed is very high, and as you see, it's going to be a very dark scene. And it's generating lots of clouds. And uh, if you have a cloud layer with, with some clouds, you can also set the precipitation to cloudburst, raining. If the temperature is freezing, it's going to be snow. There you are. Okay, let's create some AI ships in the scene. Uh, we go to the AI tab and select a ship we want to add in the in the scene. And we also need a target point. Where do we want the AI to sail to? So we'll have to add a static point entity. And 
it's for demonstration so I'll uh, move it close close to the AI ship and now we have to give the, the AI ship a command go to this goal so open the logic editor open the logic editor and right now this initialization is uh, clean we're going to use it later on but we'll add a new trigger and make a connection to the initialization I'll rename this trigger to AI logic and we'll put an action in it uh, we have a list of AI commands AI ship go to call this is the most basic one and I'll select it we have two buttons the AI ship select from scene that is the Apollo and the goal is select from scene point entity um, I'm going to rename this point entity right mouse click on the entity and give it a proper name like um, AI target Apollo and there's one assign command to Apollo go to the loc uh, location of AI target Apollo well that's good So save mission and test it and it's sailing to that point or trying to sail to that point great stop testing this is a very simple AI command go to goal what if we want to say go to goal and if you are there go to the next goal and if you are there go to the first goal so then you have like a constantly yeah, rotating and moving ship so I'll add a sphere area and scale it down to let's say uh, 50 and add another sphere area and also make it 50 meters big and I'm going to rename it to AI area Apollo 1 and the other one AI area Apollo 2 okay now we have two areas both 50 meters and I'm going to build some logic for it so remove this command and we'll add a new trigger first the init will be AI ship go to goal and then select the, ship, the right ship the Apollo and the goal will be area 1 and then we want to make some logic tree so if you want to check something in this trigger add a state in between link it up and I'm going to rename this one and rename the trigger AI Apollo and we'll add a condition in this trigger and this area contains entity is entity A in area B 
select the Apollo. Area B is the area one. Okay. Is Apollo in IE area Apollo one? That's the check. And if it is true, then we want to give the Apollo a new target. So action. AI ship go to goal. Select the Apollo. And the new goal will be target number two. Okay. And then we want to check if the Apollo is in this area. We'll add a new state and a new trigger. Link both up. Rename them. Apollo 2. And here we want to make the condition is the Apollo in area 2. Okay, the condition is set. Is Apollo in Apollo 2 area? If it is so, give it a new target and that will be the target number one. Go to goal AI ship, select from scene. Assign command to the Apollo, go to the location of Apollo 1. And if we make a relink to the first uh, state, then it will start checking this one again. So this is a, a constantly checking loop. And um, save the mission and let's test it, see what happens. AI, it fired a signal and right now it's checking is the Apollo in area 1? Well, it isn't. It's still trying to reach area 1. That's the little white circle. It's checking, checking, checking. It's almost there. And it is. You saw the white circle. Now it's checking if the AI ship is in area 2. And it will keep on doing this forever. It was in area 2. Now it's having a new target. That's area 1. And as you see, this, this uh, mission editor is very cool. You can create anything you like. Uh, this is now a setup for two targets, but you can create a sightseeing tour with it and just try it, play with it, and you can create lots of fun stuff with it. I'll just leave this here. Stop testing. <laughs>